Hi there, my name is Miranda and I'm the Nutritional Medicine Practitioner at the Sun and Earth Organic Healthcare Clinic. Today I thought I'd do a video um, because this month we're kind of just introducing ourselves to you guys and I love doing videos. It's one of the things that I do a lot on my own blog um, and my own Facebook page and my own Facebook group. But um, I thought I might start off with exactly what it is that I do because most of the time when people ask me what I do, I say I'm a nutritional medicine practitioner and people are just kind of like, uh, what is that <laughs> um, and it's a really common response so if you feel like you don't know what that is I'm about to tell you so basically what I do is um, I often help people who are and, and mostly women but people who are really exhausted having trouble managing their stress uh, and often have feelings of anxiety depression um, and get symptoms of those sort of things so um, a lot of the time the people that I see they you know they sometimes want to lose weight, um, but most of the time it's just that they're feeling really fatigued and they don't really have control over their life. What I do is I help these people to listen to their bodies and understand what is going on with them. So, you know, everybody kind of knows like the basics of healthy eating and exercise and that sort of thing. But sometimes there's a little bit more involved with, you know, getting yourself to, um, oh, sorry, I have an itchy nose. <laughs> Um, getting yourself to actually do those things, you know, um, because we do have a lot of complex hormonal systems in, you know, in our body that can can dictate the way that we feel and how much motivation we have, how much drive we have, our appetite, all of these different things. And, the, you know, I find a lot of the time there is this attitude of, oh, well, if you, if you can't do it, you should just do it anyway sort of thing. Um, and, and I, I don't I find that kind of counterproductive myself so um, with me I I have had anxiety depression and insomnia all three I was diagnosed like smack bang in the middle of my, my degree and it was really really hard time for me I was probably getting about two to three hours of sleep every two to three days um, and like for about two months it was a, it was a really really hard time but the depression and the anxiety have kind of um, they, they kind of lingered for a while and I still have a lot of days where my anxiety can get the best of me sometimes. However, um, that doesn't mean that I, um, you know, I'm, I'm bogged down by it or anything because I was able to learn via um, going to actually the student clinic at my college um, and, and starting to implement these things where I'm learning about myself. And I learnt heaps about myself and I learnt about meditation actually, which really, really helped. But I also learnt about how my body reacts to food and I find that that is one of the most powerful tools that we have because a lot of the time we kind of ignore some symptoms. It might be gut symptoms and I was a classic for that. I, you know, would get really, really sick every couple of weeks and I'd felt like I'd have a fever for about half an hour and eventually it would pass but it really didn't feel very good. And it was really awful when it was happening at work um, and I realized that I was lactose intolerant so that's one of the things that changed um, for me but also I realized how addicted to sugar I was because of course when I was stressed the first thing I reached for was chocolate and that honestly in the, t the form of the double dip Tim Tams or the dark chocolate Tim Tams and the dark chocolate family block of Kit Kat <sighs> yeah and I used to eat um, when I was really, really anxious and really depressed and everything was really bad. I would eat one to two family blocks of chocolate a night after dinner. Um, that chomping sensation was really, really helpful for me at the time. But all of the rest of the ramifications, I didn't quite, you know, I wasn't ready to understand that about myself. But eventually I did. And eventually I changed my lifestyle and, you know, I became more confident and I started loving myself a lot more. Um, I stopped blaming things in the past that had happened to me and started taking responsibility for my own life. Um, and of course, there are times where things get sad, you know, life is life and there are ups and downs. But I now am stronger because of what I've been through and I know how to nurture myself and how to recover quickly and how to deal with these stressful situations a lot quickly. Sorry, a lot 
quicker because of the way that I, you know, learnt to listen to myself. So that's something that I really like to impart with my clients and I find it is sometimes it can be really a, a very quick turnaround for some clients. It of course depends on what's going on for them. Um, but a lot of the success that I do have with people is, you know, when they have anxiety or they have a really stressful lifestyle and just reminding them of, um, of, of these things that they do know about themselves or giving them different strategies to, to look at, um, at, look at, implementing them or you know even different strategies to manage our stress so um that's really really important to me and as you can probably tell i'm really passionate about it um, and it does um, take up a huge portion of what i do a lot of people think that most of what i do is make these detailed diet plans and i don't do that i have to be honest that's it's, I mean, if I really wanted to, I could. Um, it would take a lot of time and it would cost a lot of money for you to do that. Um, but, you know, it's, it's not really giving you the tools to understand your own body, understand what your body is telling you and understand how you can really nurture your own body because that's what it's all about. I can sit here and spout all of the best things that, you know, most of the time you're going, well, I know I need to eat more protein and I need to have vegetables and fiber and exercise daily and meditation is good. Like I could tell you all of that stuff. You know that stuff, but you don't really understand how certain foods can be affecting you um, because we are all different. And you don't really understand necessarily how much food you should be eating. Uh, one other thing that I am really, really passionate about, I actually had a little bit of rant on my own Facebook page yesterday about this, but um, is it's that uh, people, most people who come in to see me, because we've been told that our value is so much about the way that we look, a lot of people aren't eating enough and especially aren't eating enough protein. And that's something that I advocate for no matter what is eating enough and making sure you're getting lots of protein so that you can actually help your body function. So that's another thing that's really, really important to me. But basically this is what it's all about. It's all about listening to your body, making it work for you and Making it fun as well. I I can't I, I kind of forgot to mention that, but you know, I, I can't tell you like how important it is to actually enjoy this part of the journey. So if you're if you're sitting here and you you know you're taking a zillion supplements and you're doing all this diet stuff and you're like, oh god, this sucks and I don't want to do this for the rest of my life, then perhaps some a few adjustments you know, could actually make it a lot better. You know, even if you do have to have a restrictive diet, whether it's for a small amount of time or for a very long time, there are still ways to make that ha like a happy, fun time for you and make it feel like you, you, you're you not going to miss out. So, And that's what I specialize in really. So um, yeah, that's me. If you do want to book in with me, uh, you can go to the Sun and Earth Organic uh, website. We've got our own Facebook page for the Sun and Earth Organic Healthcare Clinic as well. Um, so look us up there. My links are all on there. And also I have my own website, which is mirandaswellness.com. Thank you so much for watching uh, and have hope you have a really nice day. Bye.